Moderna's request comes two days after the FDA approved the Pfizer COVID vaccine. As Northern Utah specialist Mike Anderson found, that move is prompting more people to get vaccinated. Mike? Yeah, that is at least the hope here at a clinic at uh, Brigham City Community Hospital. Just finishing up right now, you know, with the FDA approval of the Pfizer vaccine, they seem to say it seems like a good timing to team up with the Bear River Health Department. The numbers are small today, just over a half dozen people at this clinic so far. But with every new vaccination comes a bit of progress. We um, have 35% of the community that is fully vaccinated. Um, we're not getting any better. We, we need to, you know, step it up. John Nelson, director over infection prevention at the hospital, says transmission rates are high. The risk is at the same level in Box Elder County as in Salt Lake County. But maybe think, they think that being in a rural area that they're somehow not going to be exposed or the threat's not here. But... The threat is here. But there are people making that choice today, like Tamara Huff. I work here at the hospital, so made it easy to just hop on over here after work. And she's getting her first dose today, something that she was meaning to get around to. I was kind of waiting a little bit to see how reactions from other people, <laughs> it being new and, you know, a, a thing. So just waited a little bit. And with each person comes a bit more protection for the public, which is why Nelson says it's important to give people opportunities like this to make it easy. I hope so. I, I think maybe some some folks were on the fence a little bit um, and this should, you know, help make the decision. And there is a difference between being hesitant and anti. Huff says some people just need a bit more time. I think you do have to make your own conscious choice to, to do it, but it is good and helpful to everyone around us that we should take care of each other. And according to the Bear River Health Department, about 76,000 people are fully immunized. That includes Cash and Rich, as well as Box Elder Counties. That makes up about 51% of the population out here. Deanie? All right, Mike, thanks for the update.